Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing eyeliner, my top five, and I hope you enjoy. First I'm going to start with this little one here, and it's by Bourgeois, and it's Coal and Contour, and I don't know if it's still available, but I love it. It's cheapish in, it's like affordable, but still you're not getting, you know, the quality still there, which is really good. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that on my hand there, I hope you can see it. But it's quite a sheeny as well. And it's only in a pencil form. You don't usually get creamy sheen in pencil form. But you do with that one. And it's lovely. The colour's a bit off. I've got funny light bulbs above my head. And I'm sitting here drinking my coffee as I go. So, Right. The next one up. But before I go, I would say I'd give my bourgeois one about... I'd say a six and a half to seven. And that's good considering this pencil because I'm not a pencil person. I love these ones here. Yeah. And they've got like a creamy tip look. If you can see. Now this one is Urban Decay. And this colour is actually called Stash. And it just glides on and it's really smooth and shimmery. Hope you can see that. The lighting is really bad in here. And I think it's because I've got a window behind us. But it's just, I'm up at a bench you see. <clears throat> so... That's your stash, that's the Urban Decay one. And it is 24-7 glide on pencil. And when they say that, they mean it. It just glides on, Boom. It's perfect. No pulling at the skin. Gorgeous consistency and formula. I love it. And I love my Urban Decay stuff lately. I've been using quite a lot of it and I love it. Now this one is something I never ever even give a thought of. I knew that Shu Amura did the false, the lash curlers. But I didn't know they did anything else. I know, but I'm not. I don't go to Sephora and stuff much when I'm like they don't have it in the UK. So anyway, I found they had a pencil liner, and I thought I thought I'd give it a try. And this was a couple of days ago I come across it, and I have been wearing it ever since. And this one here is actually called. It's a drawn pencil. Let's have a look at it. Me brown. It's just a brown one. But you see, ah, now look. You can see right if I go right close up. So that's the first one, the bourgeois. I'll get a colour for you, which is Vert Inspire. I'm presuming that means green, because it's like a dark fur green. This one here is the Urban Decay Stash. And then this one here is a Show Amura. Amura, I hope I've got it right. If I haven't, I'm sure someone's going to correct us. It's a drawing pencil, and it's called Me Brown. And I'll come right up for you. Look at that. It's a cream formula. And you can sharpen it as well. The good thing about these are that you can still sharpen them. The ten, just be careful when you're sharpening it though, because with it having a soft nib more than a pencil nib, you can snap it off, and then you know it's not very good when it's blunt. You want it nice and sharp if you can help it. So that's that one, and that's a brown. It's beautiful. Now I'll show you the other ones. Now I pick. It's NYX or NYX. I say NYX. But I've heard loads of people saying NYX. This one here is white. And the reason I'm choosing this one, the white one, it is just called white. And it's in pencil formula. And I don't usually go for pencil formulas. But I love these ones. And because, you know, when you're doing your tutorial and you want to make your small eyes look bigger. Or you want to make it look a bit more wide awake and fresh. These are fantastic. So you just stick a bit under here like that. And I'm just going to show you a little bit and it really does wake up the eyes. I'm just putting a little bit under here to show you. Because I don't have anything on the bottom. But look at the difference, that one and that one. Just absolutely fantastic. I would not be without these ones. And especially on those days when your eyes look a bit red and tinty. And you just don't look like you've had any sleep. This just, just makes them pop open. And I'll show you some other tips as well in a different video on how to make your eyes look a bit more awake. Um, and I may just finish this off on the other side so you can see the difference just fantastic and I'm not got a mirror in front of us I'm using the lens sorry the camera and you can just see it looks far more awake absolutely beautiful perfect as well with all your pastel colours for your bridal wear this pencil lovely and it's dead affordable as well which is really good I'll quickly do a little swatch on my hand just in case you can't see the camera and that's that there. 
and it really doesn't it doesn't slide on like cream but you know what it, who cares it's perfect for me I love it and it doesn't I would say it goes to a powder formula it doesn't stay wet it kind of dries but that's what you want you want it to dry and then you don't look so perfect now last but not least and something that had to be mentioned here is me little stealer or stiller I like to say stiller but I'm starting to say stealer because I hear everybody else say it isn't it funny how we change so this one's a convertible eye color and it's onyx and I use this every tutorial you know I do if you watch there's just you can't go wrong with it it's a cream formula and I think that's it so I'm actually gonna have to buy more that's all I've got left a little bit of bit a little nib there but on the other end you get a smudge and I've lost my top so that's the one for the other side but I've lost it and so you would just apply it put it there for you so pretend you've got your line a bit messy I know you wouldn't do that on your eye but and then you would just take the smudgy and just smudge it out a lot neater than this obviously but if you're doing smoky eyes this pen pencil thing is just amazing that's my top favorite out of all of them followed by the NYX and then I kind of really choose between the other three they're all good in their own little way so they would be my top five recommended eyeliners if you were to try them out doesn't necessarily mean anything to do with the color these are just what I had at hand to grab to show you but definitely the brands absolutely love them I think I'll have a nice sip of coffee because next coming up is blush I've got five different blushes if there's anything you want us to do a review on let us know the next one probably after the blush will be an eyeshadow now I do you need some ideas because we've done mascaras we've done foundation and we've done my eyeliner now and I've got my little bits of blush pots here that I'm going to show you so so that's that but then we'll be running out of ideas so please send your requests in is there anything you've seen on the telly advertised you want us to give us a go I'll go out I'll grab it somehow and we'll do a review on it for you it's probably going to be in my top fives so if I like it I'll pop it in with the top fives I might do a detour and do the odd review on a certain kit palette or whatever out there but um for now I'm going to stick with the top fives because there's plenty of other tutorials out there that I do lots of reviews but we well, shall see see how things go so I really hope you enjoyed my top five eyeliner tutorial coming up next is my blush favorites and I really hope you enjoyed zoom zoom <laughs>